Hi Kiwis, here's Alexander again, and welcome to part number two of how to cast your own resin bases. Well, in the last episode we casted our mold, and now it is dry, and uh, to release it just press it a little bit and bend the, the plastic surface, and then you uh, can loosen it up. Well, I have done this already, so uh, here are not the originals anymore in there, because I have uh, made some test castings already. So, in order to cast now, you need uh, several things. First of all, your, your mold. Then, <coughs> you will need your casting resin. Uh, this is a two-component resin, and, uh, well, you can find this stuff on eBay. Just uh, type in resin to part resin or something like that. Um, avoid the resin um, that has a little bit, uh, um, little bottle of uh, hardener in it because it's very hard to measure, um, well, the ratio of how much hardener and resin and uh, most of the time you will uh, lose uh, casting material and it will be getting very expensive. So, two part resin, then you need uh, two little uh, cups for measurement, you will need uh, a toothpick for uh, stirring the stuff, and you will need a flat surface uh, to press on the back side of the mold. For that instance, I have here a wooden plate, uh, sealed it with uh, some uh, uh, foliage, so uh, this is a really nice flat surface I can press on the mold, so uh, I have the cast resin pieces um, with a nice flat surface at the back. Then, of course, you need a little bit of paper to uh, protect your working area, because sometimes uh, resin will flow out uh, on the sides and uh, will go on your table, and to protect this, just a little bit of paper. <coughs> so, now we will uh, measure up a little bit of the resin. One-to-one -one mix, so just pour it in like that. That's the first part, and here we go with the second part. simply pour it in one to another cup so and then mix it up mix it up mix it up so in order to mix it properly at some point um, well here's a little bit uh, on the bottom left almost unmixed and on the top also and uh, to get rid of this, just simply <coughs> uh, stir it back into the other cup. So, and that way we get a nice even mix of both components. So, you need to work a little bit faster here because, well, the resin. Uh, will harden quite fast. Uh, normally mixed resin has a <coughs> well, flowability of maybe four minutes. So now it's time to uh, cast it into the mold. So just pour it in. So that's enough. And with the rest of it, well, I pour it into a different cup. Well, here you may see um, this isn't totally mixed up, so I will <coughs> mix this again here a little bit in the mold itself. It doesn't matter that here and there is a little bit uh, over the edge. So, 
or just like that. And what you're gonna do now is take your uh, pressing part. Well, you could leave it like that and uh, then in the end the back side uh, will have uh, like a rounded surface and then you uh, <clears throat> have to um, well sand it down afterwards. That you could uh, totally do but I don't have sandpaper here and I want a flat surface so I take this here. But keep in mind uh, this may produce some bubbles so press it on lift it off and press it on again so that will uh, reduce the amount of bubbles so and in order to uh, not wait so long I show you just now how to release the stuff this here is a different mold uh, to release when it is uh, hardened just simply bend the mold a little bit and there you can see whoop, the resin comes out quite nice Oh. These are some different parts and now I show you the end result. <coughs> so does uh, a base look like when it comes out here with the flashings. That, and here you see a little bubble here and there. That might appear but overall this is an absolute flat uh, surface. Just nice to play. So sometimes um, the bubble is here almost at the edge, but that's not kind of a big deal. Just uh, pour in a little bit of uh, well, modeling paste and scratch with a knife over it to make a flat surface and <clears throat> then you won't see that here. So and finished bases when they're cleaned up look like that. So this was my uh, first cast, you can see there's a little bit of uh, the shale itself <coughs> cast into them, but nevertheless, nice bases, well look to them, and I guess they will look pretty nice when they're painted. So that's it for now, and I hope we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.